Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great and Bentley and Albert are back and of course these two love their food so they're back with a recipe video. And so I want to share with you not only the recipe but some of the essentials that I use because I do make their food homemade at home. And so let's get started. <laughs> So one thing that I find very helpful is to have a large mixing bowl because I like to make their food in kind of bulk, semi-bulk, you know, for the week so that I have enough to last me a good couple of days. And another thing I have to have is the nutrient. So another thing that is important are the nutrients. Fish oil is one that I love putting in their food along with their doggy nutrients because you know I'm cooking human food but they need certain nutrients and so I make sure that I add that into their food and so I have one kind that's for more of the poultry and then I have one that is more for the beef and so depending on what I'm making that's what I use a cutting board that is something that you're definitely going to use because I cut up veggies I cut up potatoes those are the cores of what Bentley and Albert love and so the cutting board definitely is an essential when making your homemade dog food along with scissors because I have little pups I have to cut their food up into bite-sized pieces for them so when you're making dog food for your pups it's important to make sure that the bite sizes are appropriate for the size of your dog and so I usually especially for their broccoli and potatoes and things like that so so what we're making today is a staple that Bentley and Albert love. They love potatoes, they love white potatoes, and they love sweet potatoes, but they tend to love the white potatoes better than the sweet potatoes. They love them both, but they'll tend to really go after the regular potatoes. So after I clean the potatoes, I like to chop them into bite-sized pieces. Again, that is one of the most important things for me when I'm making their food, is to make sure that I'm cutting the potatoes into pieces that really fit them, fit their mouth size, and make sure that it's easy for them to eat. So now that I have all of the potatoes in bite-sized pieces, I love kind of just checking them out to make sure that I have not missed anything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roast them because I can have them roasting as I make other parts of their meal. So one thing that I like to do is use foil on my pan because it really helps with the cleanup. And sometimes when I'm making their food, it's after work, I'm tired, and I really wanna just get in and do it. And so this really helps with the cleanup. So once I have the potatoes, on the pan, I'm just going to spread them out evenly so that they can really bake well. You don't want them kind of overloaded on each other. And as you can see, for these two little pups, they really can eat well. So again, I'm doing one quick run through to make sure that all the potatoes are bite sized Again, that's where those scissors, those kitchen shears come in so handy for that. So next, I'm gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to coat all of the potatoes with the olive oil and then we're ready to put in the oven, usually about 425 for about 20, 25 minutes and then you're good to go. So now that the potatoes are in the oven, I'm gonna set my timer so that I do not burn them because I can get distracted very easy. So the next thing I'm gonna do is rinse out my bowl for my veggies. And I like these veggies that I throw in the microwave for six minutes and then I can have them ready to go. Again, this is on those days when you really wanna just kind of get the meal prepped and done because sometimes I either forget to make a batch and I need to make a quick batch, this really comes in handy. But again, looking at those chunks, I'm having to cut that down, especially for Bentley. He's a smaller pup, he's really the smallest of the two and so I'm really cautious on the sizing of the food. And so again, that is where the MVP, those scissors come in for, to help me just kind of chop up um, the broccoli. And you can of course use a knife if you want to. I just find that this is easier for me and I just kind of get it the way I want it, bite size easy. Easily. So what I'm going to prepare now is their meat and what I'm going to do is the chicken livers. That's the quick meat that I'm going to add in for them today because they love it and it's simple and easy. It doesn't look the best. It's kind of gross. It, it grosses me out a little bit but they love it so I deal with it. And so that's what they're getting in their meal today. 
So in between cooking, I do like to go in and flip the potatoes so that they cook evenly. So halfway in between, you wanna go through and kind of um, just flip your potatoes. And then again, here comes those scissors. And so I, as I'm cooking the meat, I'm looking to get it in that bite size, into bite size pieces. And so now I have my meat done, I have my veggies, and I have my potatoes. A well-balanced meal for my little pup pups. And then it's just about combining everything together, getting everything in the bowl together so that I can give it a good mix, let it cool, and then add in all of the nutrients. Now I don't add the nutrients in while it's hot. I let the food cool before I actually in, you know, add it to the food. But now all I'm doing is just kind of putting everything together, giving it a good toss around so it's blended well. They got a good balanced meal because basically I'm just gonna kind of package this up and keep it in the fridge and so I really Really want to make sure that I have everything combined well so that everything is balanced. They really get a balanced meal. They get a, every serving, they get a good bit of, of each of it. So with the fish oil, the only thing that I do is they come in the capsules and I just cut the capsules, again going back to those scissors of mine, and that's what I just kind of put into uh, their food. And then the nutrients, the other nutrients are their powder form, and so I just sprinkle that into the food and stir it up and then they're good to go. Now I do separate this up into containers it just makes it easier for me um, I could put it in one big container it's no you know big deal there but then I am ready to serve them up and they go to town they absolutely loved it those two all you have to do is go call them and say hey it's dinner time and they are running downstairs ready to eat those two <laughs> are too funny but friends I hope you have enjoyed seeing what Bentley and Albert have had for dinner this week I hope if you're not subscribed to our channel that you will click that subscribe button, become a part of the At Home with Bentley and Albert family. Have a beautiful day, my friends, and Bentley and Albert are back, so stay tuned for next week's video. Have a beautiful day, my friends. We will see you at the next video, and this is Nikki, Bentley, and Albert saying goodbye.